Well, 63 Impala, and you guys have been messing around with your guitars because you're snowed in and everything. And I'm currently also snowed in. Well, not snowed in, I'm rained in. It's just pouring out there. And so I dug my old, uh, my old guitar out of the weeds, and I'm going to give her a 63 Impala Spit Shine. Let's see if I still remember how to use this damn thing. I played guitar in a rock and roll band in the early 90s. To about the mid-90s. We toured for, oh, I don't know, we toured five, six years, something like that. And the name of the band was uh, the Regulators. We thought we were the coolest thing on the planet ever. Pretty cool. <coughs> and of course, I have a helper too. Who's going to make life difficult? We'll see how this works out. <laughs> oh, I wish it was summer. just filthy to get from having them sitting around forever. You ought to use them every once in a while, I suppose. I don't think I've paid any attention to my guitar in probably, oh, I don't know, probably been a year since I picked this thing up. I did anything with it. But watching uh, watching him Paul's video this morning kind of reminded me about about my old man and what he used to like to do you know, he used to play guitar all the time and be sitting out writing songs pretty much about whatever he just happened to be doing at that point in time he'd pick up a guitar and write a song about it. <coughs> he was a uh, he was a interesting individual, my old man. He was a blacksmith. He was a welder, probably the best damn welder I've ever seen in my life. He was a scientist. He was an engineer. He was a manager. He was a comedian. He was a clown. He was also a hard man. He was a difficult man sometimes, that is for sure. He, he, uh, he spent the better part of his life doing what he saw fit and to hell with the consequences. That didn't make him a very popular guy. His, uh, probably the last, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 years of my old man's life was spent with him trying to make amends for all the wrongs that he'd done. I don't know if he, uh... I don't know if he did, in the end. But he certainly tried. And I guess that's got to count for something. Right? I can tell this guitar is epically out of tune. Oh, I have to dig out my... Well, I gotta dig out a bunch of stuff anyway, but... Yeah, who knows? I don't remember how to use this damn thing, we'll see. I'm using my patented rat rod polish. 
on it right now. I've diluted it down though, one part per four and a half billion in order to take out most of the radioactivity of it. Otherwise I'd be dead right now, of course. Of course! Right? This is a Samic Artist Series Edition. It's a pretty good little guitar. I've had this one for quite some time. Um, probably five, six years ago. Something like that. Well, I got it. I got it working again. My poor little amplifier works.
guitar. It does work. That was 63 Impala's fault, by the way. Just like the snow. And pretty much everything else is going wrong right now. And then we're just going to blame it all on 63 Impala. I think that's our plan. Thanks for watching.